Good morning, good morning. It is day 330 from here to Jerusalem. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. So last night, yesterday evening, uh, when I arrived in Vethen, um, there is a hotel there, uh, but they had no room and the municipality of uh, Belovo, Belozo, here, had offered uh, had offered me a room in a in a guest house, um, of course at the end of the walking day at the eight, but I wasn't there, <laughs> so so uh, there was a bit of a of of a kerfuffle, but then um, they organised that somebody came and picked me up. So I get a message from Ina saying there is a Vladislav is on his way in a white van. And there stops like a black little beetle uh, with a young man in it. And he goes, do you need to go to Belovo? Belozo? And I go, yeah, that would be me. And he says, well, get on in. And I'm thinking, but it's a black beetle. I, I got really, really confused. Anyway, he brought me to the guest house. Uh, they kind of went like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They gave me a room. I went for dinner thinking like how do I get back to Vetten? So there is a there is a bus in uh, in the the place next to where I was staying but three kilometers down the road so this morning I got up early I asked uh, I met this young lady she had been working in Austria <coughs> she she works in Austria lives in Austria with her husband and they come here uh, every year for their holidays uh, to see her family and stuff so I said, do you know where the buses are and how do I get back to Vetren? So this morning I got up, I'm here now at the bus station. Da -da 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 Here's the bus station, that's what it is, with the buses. And um, yeah, the bus should be here in about 10 minutes. I'm heading back to Vetren and then I'm heading straight. Oh, I'll look it up on the bus and I can tell you when uh, I get there, where I'm heading. My head is mush at the moment. Uh, dinner was... How come like this woman, the uh, day before, in this like really weird little place, and her, their food was great. And here like, they have like, uh, you know, curtains and stuff, and it wasn't great. But you know what? Food is food is food is food. I got protein, I got vegetables, I got uh, everything that I need. Now we wait for the bus. Bring on day 330. Baza Bazajik, Bazajik, that's where I'm heading. Okay. Uh, Shonda Harp is here. Jared Stick is here. My good self. Should be another good day. See you later. So the bus dropped me off in Vetten uh, and I'm now heading to Pazajik. So yesterday was like climbing and going up, going down. It was very exciting. It was very beautiful. Today is not going to be as exciting. There is one thing that's exciting though. I won't be on a main road. I'll be on a secondary road. Uh, so we've got the highway, we've got the aid, which is the old highway, which is, I, you know, I realized I'm getting on in years because the aid used to be like a big road when I was younger, like that was the main road. Uh, and I was, I was sitting in the bus and, you know, here the, the tarmac isn't always great. And he was going like left on the tarmac, right on the tarmac, uh, weaving around the potholes. And I'm thinking, 
this is like it was in the 80s when I used to go, you know, uh, late 80s when I used to go visit my mother in Ireland. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah, different, different, different times, different world. And here we have a little doggo uh, looking for food, for probably for her puppies, because she looks like she's got puppies. Now, um, so today it's an extension of the road uh, that I came out of from the ma uh, from the hills, and it goes straight to Pazardzik. Uh This morning, Ina left me a message saying that we don't know if there's a bed for me, but Pasadzik is pretty big, so it should be okay. Uh, it's cool. It feels a little bit cooler than it actually is. I think it's about three degrees, three, four. It'll come up to about 10 today. And the forecast is for spring weather. And as I was sitting in the bus, the blossoms everywhere. And I realized, I don't know what half of them are. Some of them look like almonds, um, but I'm sure there's plum as well. And some of it is like, white white and then yellow white and there's pinkish white but it's all white <laughs> I can't tell them all apart but it's beautiful I arrived in Vetrin uh, this man adorable yeah in uh, Belovo so I was uh, I was staying in Belovo Malko and Belovo is where the bus station was about three kilometers down the road. And uh, I asked this group of uh, elderly men, was I right here for the bus? And they were like, yeah, where are you going, veteran? Yes, the bus is here. Perfect. So they're looking at my pack, they're looking at me. And uh, the bus driver comes and he's going like, what's all of this? And uh, I could hear them say, she speaks English and she's going to Vetrin. And then this, this man goes, I said, I, I won't fit into the bus. And he says, let me help you. Take off the pack, I'll put it in. I'm thinking, oh, poor soul, like. And yeah, there he goes. And he's, he's looking, <laughs> he's looking at me. And I'm saying, it's okay, like, I'll do it. And he goes like, no, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. But his eyes were popping out of his head. <laughs> Poor man! And I'm going like, thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm so sorry! And Sean the Harp actually made this older woman move from her chair because they couldn't get him into the bus. And then as we're driving, like here, there's even more Turkish words I've noticed. Like ama is now but. Uh, ama, but this, but that, uh, has been added as well. Uh, people use it a lot. And, <laughs> and the music, there's hardly any English music anymore. It is all, it is all Bulgarian. Uh, and I'm thinking, then he's kind of looking in the mirror, he changes stations. And it is like 1980s, 1990s English music. And uh, what was it? Uh, there's a few French hits in there as well. And he's kind of looking. And I'm, I'm singing along, because <laughs> I know all the lyrics, of course. Oh, and then I got, the, at the end, he helps me get the, get the pack out of the, out of the bus. <laughs> like these tiny buses. Oh. Anyway, I had, a bit of, I had a bit of fun. Then I went for coffee, and uh, I'm uh, ready to go do this. I've got 26 kilometers ahead. Uh, the more I get done this morning, and the... In the cool, the better it is. Wish me luck. I'll see you later.
Right, Basaljuk, I made it. So altogether, I walked around 30 kilometers and I am just wiped. I'm wiped, I'm so tired. Uh, so I went for dinner. I had loads of food because I was wiped. Like I was just, I thought I was gonna scrape myself off the floor. Um, and now I'm gonna go sleep and I'm hoping that tomorrow will be a short day. Oh, I'm whistling. <laughs> Uh, I would like to do a short day tomorrow. Nothing over 20 kilometers, because 23 kilometers with loads of climbing and about 30 kilometers uh, with, you know, walking to the bus this morning and then uh, walking over the Roman road. So all that straightness of that road, yeah? That is because it's the old Roman road. Now, of course, it isn't there anymore, uh, but I'm coming off it tomorrow. Because it is the Roman road is now when you go out on the other side of town it'll be the eight again. Now today there was lots of traffic. Oh that badger, that was just so sad, right? That was so sad. But it happens everywhere, like uh, um, wild animals get hit by traffic all the time. Because the uh, because the Roman road is so straight, people tend to speed, of course. Um, what can I say? It was like really, really, really straight. And lucky for me, like yes, there was lots of uh, there was lots of traffic, but uh, no heavy traffic because everything is brought over the A1, which is over there on that side, uh, and and the and the rest of the traffic goes over the A8 for local deliveries. This is really like because of the mountains where we went over yesterday, it is kind of an in-between uh, place. Now, Veteran, where I arrived yesterday, only became like an official town in 2003, but they've been, they've been like uh, doing wine forever, yeah? Forever and ever and ever. So, uh, yeah, I'm here tonight. I don't know how this lady does it. The Trakia Hotel. It's like a little bit of... It's very communist era. I even have wallpaper, like it's pretty cool. I don't know how she does it, but she just calls like the churches and the, and the, and the councils and stuff. And uh, somebody, an anonymous donor, paid for my room and I said like, that's very generous. What can I, can I, is there anything I can do? And she said, no, 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 just, you just walk. <laughs> so that's all I have to do. And I don't know, that's it for me for tonight. Um, day 330. Wow, 330, 330 days. I might go for another beer, but I have to plug in my phone. I might go upstairs first. Oh. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.